Oh gosh. It really is hot today. My gosh, 30 degrees. It's really hot. What's up guys, you're your boy the Ultimate Hardcore Gamer So I know after last week's video it's been kind of mellow on this channel And kind of, you know, a little bit down I guess But um, I'm thinking I'm going to kick it up with a new story video I know you guys enjoyed the last two uh, Got attacked by a tree and wearing those socks to school Which you guys absolutely destroyed And I'll leave it up right here They're here, yeah, there we go Leave it right up here for you guys to uh, check out and see But um, yeah, yes Apart from that, I do appreciate all you guys' love and support from the last video, uh, which was mellow-ish. And uh, yeah, I really do enjoy all your comments and such, and seeing it, it was actually pretty fun to see, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It, it was fun to see. It, it, it was just like, raw. people actually care, in a way, care about my life. But anyway, anyway. So, um, judging by this title, you know where this video is going to go. So, um, in my school... We have PE and or we call it sports as well. I don't know, like I don't know all schools have PE or sports or something specifically in my school. But um, so in my school, there's five sports that we usually do. We usually do football, basketball, oh my gosh, rounders, gym, and table tennis. Usually I go for football, but yeah, football just wasn't that day for football because let's just say when you go football, there's two sides in football as well. Like you got the victimization side and you got the side that victimizes the victimization side. So pretty much I don't think I was always in a victimization side. So sure like every so often you get insults, but pretty much I never got assaulted in a way. It was pretty calm for me, but other people it just didn't work out for them. Like some people got bullied for the whole term in football and thank god I was not one of those people because I played to my best to that day, but yeah. It's just, it's just, yeah, certain people just didn't work out for them. But instead of doing football for that one day, I actually went gym and as you can see, I got the muscular gains. But um, let's just say I shouldn't have also gone to gym that day because that day it just didn't turn out well, judging from this title. So what happened that day actually? <laughs> I'm trying to rethink. So that's it. So it was me, my friend K, and I think it was a third person there. I can't remember who the third person was. I just call him A for now. And I was on a cardio, I was doing cardio stuff for a bit. I was mostly doing a lot more running and a lot more cycling. And before I went on the running machine or treadmills, I was on cycling, doing my business, listening to music, um, just going all day on cycling. I like cycling, I don't know why I just do. It's just, it's just fun, I guess. So, um. Yeah, I started doing that for a while and then my friend Kay said why not we try something where on a treadmill I think it goes up to level 99 in terms of speed and we also lift it up like it can go up into hills like it slants a bit and I was thinking okay fine but let's see what happens if it goes level 99 and it's on a slant and such like that and you're thinking okay let's let's just see it'll be a fun experiment I guess and um, so on the treadmill you see like the running lane where like it goes like that I don't know how to explain it it just goes like that in a way that's where you meant to put your feet and run but anyway so um and then there's two panels that don't move we was on either side of the panel and he was just clicking it all the way up to 99 even past 99 and we're just trying to see how far this can go obviously maximum is 99 on it and you're thinking all right let's try it so then he put his foot on it he put his foot on it so like he's pretty much just like that and then he started somehow started running on it. I said, okay, fine. And he's probably going fast because it's on 99. And it's pretty, it's kind of tiring as well because it's on this slant. And I said, okay, right. If he can do it, then I can do it. He got off now. He said, why don't I try? I was getting a little bit scared. I said, oh Lord God, please protect me because I do not want to die here. And I said, you know, you're not, if he can do it, I can do it. It's me. It's, it's me, come on. And then I should not have gone on it. Let's just, let's just say that I should have not gone on it. And, um, why is it all of a sudden as soon as i put my foot on it not even to like even run i just put my foot on it and just to just to scrape by just to see what will happen my body flew literally my body flew mid-air literally flew like my neck was almost broken because i can i like what happened was that i went down and then my neck went up like that or well you know my neck went on it like that yeah, my neck went kind of like on it, 
It was weird. It's like, okay, it's like here, and my neck was like that, or like that, and my body was up, and then all of a sudden, I just went to the side, and luckily I think there was a bouncy ball there, and that protected me from hitting the wall. So, um, but yeah, man, it was crazy. Like, I actually just went on the treadmill, and then all of a sudden, in like a space of one, or maybe not even one, but like 0 0.5 milliseconds, I swear, my body just went from one side of the room, teleported to the other, and I was not in actually thinking that I wasn't even in that much pain, maybe because the bouncy ball was there, but. I was just shocked, like I was thinking, rah, I actually could have broken my neck, like, I felt the burn, like, okay, that was the only part that hurt, it was the burn on the running, like, area, or the same mat, in a way, like, that lane, <laughs> it was like, that was the only part that hurt, when it scraped against my face, and like, luckily there was like, nothing there on my face, like, but it just felt like a burn, like, like a carpet burn, I guess, on your arm and such, so, I literally just scraped my face, and I was thinking, rah, I could have died. Literally, I could have died. And then he looked at me, he's like, Raw, man, like, you actually survived that. I was thinking, yeah, and then my neck felt perfectly fine, thank God, but yeah, man, never again. So if you guys ever go to the gym, don't do something you can't do, literally. Don't do anything you can't do. If you can, if you want to at least try, have, I guess, a lot of people to hold you back, because in case you start flying and teleporting like I did, it'll be better at least you run into people and you're not hitting into a brick wall. Um, yeah, other than that story, guys, today, that was the story of how, of how, uh, of how I almost died by a, uh, by a treadmill, I guess. Surprised I'm even alive right now. But other than that, guys, if you guys do enjoy this video or want to see the previous videos, go back and check, like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys later. Peace.